All right. Hi, this is Thomas with LibertarianProgressive.com, also uh, YouTube.com slash Blast of Fresh Air. Anyways, the reason I'm making this video today is because of this. This video I just posted the other day, interview with Michael Kukowski, Libertarian, U.S. Senate, Hawaii, 2016. It says copyright disputes in progress because I was checking on the video and I noticed it didn't seem to have too many views, um, less than I was hoping. And, um, and then so I decided to click to see if it was playing properly and I got this BBC Worldwide. This video has been blocked due to copyright claim. So I decided to look into it because I know I just only use Creative Commons material and the interview I conducted myself, so I know they're not claiming that. And this picture I got right from his website, he wanted me to do the interview with him. He's running for Congress. And that's, by the way, what I do is I interview independent third-party candidates who are on the ballot. I think if a candidate gets enough signatures to get on the ballot, they deserve media attention. They deserve to be in the debates. You should know your options. That's what we're all about. But this video is about this copyright claim. So I just wanted to set the record straight, show everything that wasn't just our interview, that where I got the sources from, and specifically what they're claiming. So let me just start with, and at the end of my video that I uploaded, at the very end, I put music credits and I put video credits. And besides that, it's just me and him talking, and that I recorded myself. You know, so, I mean, the first... Part of the intro song that I used is this free download, YouTube audio library, you know, which way is up YouTube audio library. And if you look at the terms and conditions, you know, you can use that for your videos. And I'm not selling anything on my videos. I don't even know if that would be a problem. And then the, I kind of, since these are, you know, uncopyrighted per se or Creative Commons audio tracks I kind of combined them in a way and edited them a little bit um, and I use this bright future and combo with that and then at the end the closing credits um, I use this dramatic music from this uh, Michael Donner soundpacks.de and this is the English version of the site and he has this freebie sound pack a little thank you for your visit you can download a free sound pack the music can be used in your projects without further permission Excellent music, by the way. I downloaded the freebie sound pack. I probably will be buying some of these other um, sound packs here. Very nice music. Um, real professional. I think it's great. So, you know, that might be something that I'd recommend. And then I started out with, uh, you know, just to add a little touch to it, um, some space scenes I got from this ISS time lapse thunderstorms near east coast and it says your original time lapse by ricardo rossi isaa attribution on commercial share like 4.0 international license and um so i mean that's what i used and then here's the parts and then uh, and at the end or, or somewhere a little past that i use this aurora, aurora borealis you know creative commons by this person josh spice very nice uh minute nine second video but here's the part that they're disputing right here and it's another iss time lapse orbiting around the world january 30th 2016 original time lapse by ricardo rossi isaa attribution non-commercial share like 4.0 international license and so if you if i click on this copyright due to dispute in progress it shows the visual content is from a minute 40 to two minutes and 14 seconds so let's just play that and see if it does not exactly match now if you look at this and you look at this little stream here and if you look at this you'll start to notice right there it exactly matches now let's just play that because it looks like it is um, 34 seconds that they're disputing here from BBC Worldwide. Yeah, they need to get off the bike, and that's some slang, but it just means, you know, get a clue or something. But let's just play it here, and 
see these 34 seconds. Keep a close eye on it. All the way to 2 minutes and the 14 second mark. You know, I very nice looking picture, by the way. Nothing that the BBC can take credit for, though. And it goes right into this white light here, and that's where it fades out. And that's exactly where I transitioned into this areola borealis. Um, you know, but let's just look at this and tell me if if it's the same thing or not. About 34 seconds worth here. You know, so in about 34 seconds or so, it should be very similar. Oh, don't you know. <laughs> so, so it's the exact same clip. And um, so the good thing is, though, once I did start the d dispute process, you can now view the clip again. So I would encourage you to like, subscribe, rate, maybe give a thumbs down to the BBC Worldwide, you know, uh, copyright claim department or whatever. I'm sure they're just trying to do their job. It's probably some kind of automated system. But um, as soon as I disputed it, it came back up. Now it's going to be under review for up to 30 days. And so BBC, if you're watching this, here's the source where I got it. It wasn't from the BBC. I don't want anything from the BBC, to be quite honest. I don't want it. I don't want other people's material. It's like something I don't even want. Um, I'd rather work within the Creative Commons community. Personally, I don't believe in copyrights in the first place, or I think if there are some, you know, they should be for a set period of time. People, now, on, honestly, I, I think it's, uh, you know, I think the world would be a lot better place without um, patents and copyrights. Actually, I think, like, if someone has a patent, um, people, they should be able to patent it but I think what would be a cool, innovative idea is instead of blocking other people from using it, like let's say someone created a car that could run on water, instead of saying, like, I created this, now I'm going to prevent everyone else from doing it. Because supposedly there are cars that run on water that have been invented like 20 years ago, but the big corporations buy up those patents and prevent everyone from using it. And there's probably tons of archives of music and stuff that the world should be able to hear, don't you think? But um, but instead of preventing them from making that car that can run on water, they should publish it open source in order to claim the copyright. But for seven years, if you're going to manufacture it, you have to pay them like 10%. And if you're making nothing, then then what can I say? Then then you know you don't pay them anything. But um, and it should be for a maximum of seven years instead of prevention. That way it would be a win-win-win for the consumer business and the inventor. It still has an incentive. Um, but as far as this goes, you can clearly see this is from this right here, ISS time-lapse orbiting around the world. And the original time-lapse is from here, which is an attribution non-commercial -com share like 4.0 international license. And I am doing my YouTube channel out of love. And so hopefully the response will be here. Our mistake. So sorry. Um, you know, we'll try to do better next time. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they really have too much good material anyways. Like I said, except maybe Doctor Who. But, uh all right, well, thank you for your time today and just another episode of, uh, of another false copyright claim. And by the way, I, I, I feel like now I should I upload another version of this video without that clip? Um, I mean, it's an hour and a half long in high definition. It literally took like six hours to process the software, I, you know, but um, I feel like maybe I should. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, all right, so, 
yeah, check out my videos and, you know, get concerned with Congress and uh, you're, it's coming up to November 8th soon. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I hope you have a good day.